Oh, we all thought Cyril was heading for the big vault in the sky. So I was pressed to do the right thing. This is the Evergreen Forest. Quiet, peaceful, serene. That is until Burt Raccoon wakes up. simple in the forest except for Cyril Sneer. And his life would be simple except for the raccoons. The Evergreen Forest. Today it has blue skies, lazy white clouds, and a warm breeze. Great weather, unless you're feeling under it, like Cyril Sneer. Let's see now. All right, Dr. Canard, out with the straight goods. Ooh, is that thing ever cold? Cough, please. Um. This is your second visit, and I'm not feeling any better. I hardly even feel like losing my temper. Now, what's up? Well, for starters, not you. You're to stay in bed and take plenty of fluids until I get the results from your tests. Dr. Kennard! Dr. Kennard! There's an urgent phone call for you! It's Dr. Otto. Hmm. It's the clinic. It's not like them to call unless it's something serious. Something serious? Get out there and listen in on his conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Yeah, Dr. Kennard. Lefty here at Dr. Otto's car clinic. How are you? Oh, fine. I'm here treating a loudmouth complainer with a bad cold. And what about my car? Hey, looks like the car is gonna need a complete overhaul. What? Valves shot? Valves? It's his heart. Serious, you say? Serious? Done in a few days. The boss has only got a few days to live. Well... There's nothing more I can do here. Besides, I tee off in 20 minutes. So, what is it? Well, sir, <laughs> it's like this. You're heading to that big vault in the sky. The big guy has called in your loan. If I were you, sir, I'd act on any once-in-a-lifetime offer right now. What are you blubbering about? Your illness is, um, is, uh... Is what? <laughs> Terminal. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, not again. Hey, what's going on here? Your faces are longer than a lineup at a banking machine. <laughs> it's the press again, Bert. It's broken down. Hmm. Or, uh, that old thing, huh? Yeah, well, you know, guys, things can't last forever. Oh, uh, here's the money for my collections. And here's your salary. Thanks, Ralph. Well, see you guys later. Come on, bro. All work and no play makes Bert a dull raccoon. This press is definitely on its last legs, gang. Boy, bro, the gang sure was down about that press. But it won't be for long. With Cedric investing this money for me, I'll have enough to surprise them with a brand new printing press. <laughs> Good day, fine gentlemen. Is Cedric home? Master Cedric is away at a counting camp. Oh. But in this time of emergency, we've sent word for him. Time of emergency? What's the matter? Somebody die? <laughs> <laughs> it's the boss. The doctor's given him only a few days to live. <laughs> ah, that's a good one, guys. <laughs> Hilarious. Excuse me. They bought me delivery for the late Cyril Sneer. 
the late Cyril Snare? Well, not quite yet, but uh, according to this, it won't be long now, if you know what I mean. That's the boss! He needs us! How dare you leave your weak and sickly employer to his deathbed! <laughs> I'm fading faster than a pair of jeans! You say clouds are forcing me to waste my last breath on you! <coughs> oh, I hope you careless hams aren't counting on me in my will. <coughs> the only thing you deserve to be in is the unemployment line. Oh. What are you doing here? Deathbed. Last breaths? Will? So it's true! Every word of it. The big guy has cashed in my IOU. Gee. When I think of all the lying and cheating, I've subjected myself to the years I've spent amassing my fortune. The people close to me I've had to push aside. Oh, and then I think of the bad stuff. Ugh! My only friend has been the almighty Buck, Raccoon. But Bucks don't make great friends. They don't remember you once you're gone. Is Cyril Sneer's most lasting legacy Bank account number 105609. Gosh, I know we've had a lot of differences in the past, Cyril, but I think we should put them aside. There's nothing you can do for me now, Raccoon. There's nothing anyone can do. Yes, there is. Uh, a memorial could be built. A grand testament. Yeah, something concrete that will leave Cyril's sneer. The most remembered name in history! Uh, do you mean that? Yes. It's the least I can do for you. Hold it, Raccoon! Where would you ever get the money to do that? Yeah! Money's no problem. Cedric and I have been investing a lot of my hard-earned paper root earnings to buy a new printing press for the Evergreen Standard. <laughs> a new press? That Cedric has been helping you? Yeah! We've almost reached our goal. But I'll use that money, Cyril Sneer, to erect you a monument that'll make the pyramids look like a corner star. Leave it to me. Hey, you don't think the boss would leave his fortune to that meddling raccoon instead of us, do you? We can't let that happen. We've slaved for him for years. We'll just have to outdo that raccoon, boys. To really impress the boss, we'll... Why, we'll cure him. Cure him? But we don't even know what he's got. Sure we do. At least four billion. <laughs> and we're gonna get it. Oh, goody! Hello? Yes? Well, certainly. He's what? When? Oh, yes. I'll be sure he gets the message. Who is that? The doctor's office calling to check up on the boss. They said that if he takes his medicine regularly, his cold should be gone in no time. What? The boss has got a cold? You mean he's not dying? Oh, we'd better tell him right away. Not so fast. He doesn't know that. And what the boss doesn't know won't kill him. You see, if we can convince him that we've cured him... <laughs> then we're sure to be in his will! <laughs> oh, goody, goody. <laughs> okay, keep your fingers crossed, everybody. Time to see how our front page will turn out. Beans baked by new high-powered... Engine block? Oh, no. I was afraid of that. Ralph, this press has got to go. Gee, we've been through such an awful lot together. Not as much as we have with Cyril's sneer. What? I've just come back from the sneer mansion, and... and... Cyril is dying. What? what? I don't believe it. Mean old Cyril sneer? Greedy, conniving Cyril Sneer? Scheming, tight-fisted Cyril Sneer? Cedric's dad. Oh, poor Cedric. How's he taking it? <gasps> Cedric's away at a counting camp. 
does he know yet? They've sent for him, but since he can't be here, we'll have to act the way he would if he were here. What can we do? Cedric would make the last days of his father's life his best days, and that's what we're gonna do. Yeah, by building Cyril Snare a legacy. We'll make sure he's remembered forever. In order to convince the boss, it's got to look like real medicine. And taste like it. <laughs> this stuff tastes like the inside of a shoe. Then what are we waiting for? How is my legacy coming? Well, uh, uh... Tell me, what size is it? Uh... Uh, I'm not sure yet. Ah, keeping it a surprise. <laughs> How soft. We've done it! We've done it! Done what? We found a cure! Here, sir, try it. Well, I suppose I've got nothing to lose. <laughs> Except my lunch. Gee, you're looking better already, sir. <laughs> well, perhaps it could use a little fine-tuning. It sure was nice of Cyril to let me use the library to research his monument. Um, these are the books the boss wants you to look at, sir. Hmm. Statues through the ages. Statues as a lasting monument to true greatness. Wow. This is just what I need. Hey, look at this. Hmm. That's it. The perfect monument for Cyril's snare. Yeah! <laughs> Am I correct in assuming that this medicine didn't make you feel any better, sir? Hello? Yes, of course, this is Cyril Sneer. <coughs> well, what's left of him? Dr. Kennard, what do you want? You want your bill paid? Need to pay off your green fees? How dare you saddle me with bills when I'm dying? What? You mean I'm not dying? I've only got a cold? <laughs> In that case, I'll pay you when I'm good and ready, you overbearing quack. I'm going to live! I'm going to live! I'm going to... But Raccoon is here, sir. Come Sorry in. it took me so long, Cyril, but I finally found the perfect memorial for you. Oh, you have. How touching. But it'll have to be quick. I'm going fast. It's gonna be tough to do. Oh, but if anybody can do the job, it's you, my little raccoon buddy. I know you won't be wasting your time on any itsy-bitsy little monument, will you? Certainly not. I'll be working round the clock to get every cent I can. This is it. By using that lame-brained rodent, I'll be getting the best of both worlds. That newspaper will be history, and so will I. <laughs> Well, bro, here we go again. Another day, another doll.
your tribute to Cyril coming along, Ralph. Oh, fine. Fine. Let me read you what I've got so far. When all is said and done, one can honestly say that Cyril's sneer was truly, truly... Yes? That's as far as I got. Do you think it's too long? Hurt? Uh. Are you all right? You look absolutely exhausted. <sighs> well, I am a little tired. I think it would be best if you went to bed right away. No time, Melissa. I'm working the next shift. Hmm. What is he up to? <gasps> no, I don't want to buy any of that stock. Who is it? It's me, Bert Raccoon. Well, get in here right away. I, I feel I'm fading fast. Oh, Bert. Bert Raccoon. <laughs> is that you? <coughs> My eyes, they're so old and feeble. <laughs> I'm afraid I've got some bad news for you, Cyril. Bad news? I'm doing everything I can. But even at this rate, I won't be able to get the monument for at least a month. A month? It just doesn't look like I'm going to get all the money together in time. I... Nonsense! Perhaps I can help you out. What will this do the trick? I'll say. And it'll help buy the plaque I thought I'd never get. Telling the whole world all about Cyril's snare. But will it be ready for the tribute tonight? 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 Yes. I planned the last gathering with my close friends. So you must hurry, Bert. Hurry. My time is almost up. Time for the next cure, sir. You see, I was right. <laughs> Back to the lab. <laughs> I've done it. Not only will that check guarantee me my statue with a plaque, but that raccoon has spent all his savings. That printing press and that newspaper are junkyard material. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are gathered here this evening for a sad occasion to honor one of Evergreen Forest's most venerable citizens. Won't you please welcome our distinguished guest of honor, Cyril Sneer. Let the tribute begin. Ode to Cyril Sneer by Ralph Raccoon. Four score and seven billion dollars ago, Cyril Sneer set forth into the world. And in the when end, one, we can honestly say that Cyril Sneer was without a doubt truly pink. Bravo! What, what a beautiful speech. Where is Bert? <clears throat> We've heard about Cyril Sneer in words. Now let's remember him through pictures. Oops. Uh, here is five-year-old Cyril and his father. Dad is asking for an advance on his allowance. At age seven, Cyril's family moves to a new home. Cyril has evicted them. Ooh, I'm fading fast. Uh, here's Cyril at 10, Cyril at 15, Cyril at 20. I'm fading. 30, 40, 50. <laughs> Should old acquaintance be forgotten? That blasted raccoon. It would be just like him to skip town with my cash. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for. It's about time. For another cure. The only thing that's going to be cured around here is you hams! Please excuse the interruption. Do go on! Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> Cyril Sneer, responsible for so many memorable moments in everybody's life, and responsible for... Your demise! Hey. 
Mr. Smeeler, you shouldn't be running around like that. Ha <laughs> ha! I've never felt better! You're not dying? Dying! The only death knells that'll be ringing around here are for your newspaper! Your monument to me has put you out of business! <laughs> it's a new printing press! It was thanks to your generosity that I got the idea, Cyril. You let me look around your library, and there it hit me that the printed word is handed down from generation to generation. It lasts forever. So this is our tribute to you. The Cyril Sneer Memorial Printing Press. <laughs> Gee, Bert, that was awfully thoughtful of you, saving your money to buy a printing press. Uh, I was only doing what I thought was best for everyone, Cyril Sneer included. Uh, well, I'm exhausted. Good night, Bert. Good night, guys. The Cyril Sneer Memorial Printing Press would toil on for years. Yet, no matter how greasy or soiled it got, the plaque always seemed to glow and shimmer, almost as if it had been just recently polished by loving hands. Oh! Well, you could say we made a uh, monumental mistake. Only the good die young. Mm, zero should live forever. When darkness